Been suffered by young and old. Our phones. The U.S. Surgeon General says the nation's youth are especially vulnerable to the damaging effects of social media. Our Eddie Dowd is here with a new warning tonight. Eddie. The nation's top doctor says the mental health crisis among young people is an urgent problem. He wants a tobacco-style warning that alerts users to the potential harms of certain websites and apps. It's hard to escape social media's reach, especially for these kids on summer break. So how many hours do you think you spend on your phone every day? I think, I say about seven hours. Maybe six hours. Upwards four to five hours. Those were guesses, but a quick screen time check shows for some, those were drastic underestimations. Two to three hours, I'd say. Okay, let's go check. Six hours, 32 minutes. You said two hours. I feel like two hours is my baseline. Every kid we talked to had a social media app taking up most of their screen time. In teenagers, the frontal lobe or decision-making part of the brain isn't fully developed yet, leaving young people vulnerable. Now the U.S. Surgeon General is calling for warning labels like those on alcohol and tobacco products. It's unusual to apply a Surgeon General's warning label, but we find ourselves in a unique and unusual situation. This youth mental health crisis that we are living through with extraordinarily high rates of anxiety, depression, and suicide among young people, this has become the defining public health challenge of our time. In a public advisory issued last year, Dr. Murthy cited a study that found adolescents who use social media for more than three hours a day face double the risk of poor mental health outcomes, including depression and anxiety. Some of the uh, statistics are, are quite staggering, um, and it's becoming certainly a problem. Psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner Bradley Kuo says parents need to take action, and so does the government. Honestly, my initial reaction was it's about time. Um, I've uh, seen this in my practice over the last several, several years. Social media's grasp on today's youth is something this grandma says she sees firsthand. We go out for dinner, everybody puts their phone in the... In the center of the table, whoever touches the phone first pays the bill. Because I'm tired of going out with my family and being ignored because they're on the social media. Kuo says parents can start by asking their kids how much time they use online. But he says the approach should be considered. I strongly encourage parents to have an open dialogue instead of turning it into an adversarial kind of situation where it's only addressed when there's a punishment or discipline involved. I think it's an excellent opportunity for us to talk about this at any time. Now, before those warning labels would go into effect, it would first require congressional action to be taken first. Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now. Eddie, thanks so much. New at 10, the Department of Law Enforcement says it's resuming its enforcement.